All right. Great. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of just WandaVision Discussion Live. There's no fancy title or anything, at least not yet. Um, like WandaVision Vision? I don't know. That might be it. That might be the move. That might but, be uh, it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> um, but yeah, this is just where we discuss uh, what happened the last week or this week of WandaVision. Um, sorry, I'm just muting everything, making sure that we are not interrupted. Um, yeah, so um, a lot of stuff happened this week, <laughs> um, as you are probably well aware. I watched it yesterday yeah. morning, and I just watched it again just to keep it fresh. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there are going to be spoilers. Um, yeah, I can. You, Nick, did you want to say something before we get started? No, no. I think if you want to, if you have a like a recap ready to go, we can kind of do that first, and then we can kind of go from there. Yeah. Okay. Um, I kind of think of them on the spot, but here <laughs> we go. So we start off the episode with uh, just a recap of everything that's happened, all of the callbacks that have happened before, and then we have like this amazing opening shot about Mon R Monica Rambo coming back from the blip or the snap, and it's just kind of her ending up back in the hospital room she disappeared from five years prior. Um, she's looking for her mom. I forget her mom's name, but it's like Captain Rambo, who was the woman in Captain Marvel um, before. So this is the kid that was, Monica was the kid that was in Captain Marvel um, and her grown up. Turns out her mom had died of cancer while she was um, blipped, gone. Um, it was a couple years after she had vanished um, and her cancer came back. Turns out um, Captain Rambo was the founder of S.W.O.R.D. probably after everything that happened with Captain Marvel. And so Monica has grown up with S.W.O.R.D. Um, she's like been doing like an agent for forever. Um, that's just what she does. Um, I guess she's a pilot too, kind of like her mom, because like he was like a oh, terrestrial work only. So she probably has been out there above the stars doing all that. Um, so we, um, when she comes back to S.W.O.R.D., the new uh, person in charge is like, okay, if there's a missing person in New Jersey, the FBI uh, needs to borrow one of our drones, and they need you to go with them, and, um, yeah, hi, Evan, um, but uh, they uh, go, she's like, oh, okay, well, I, this sucks because I can't do, like, real work, but, you know, that's just how it be, so she goes to Westview, New Jersey, um, Jimmy Wow, uh, whoa, woo, yeah, Jimmy Wu, sorry, um, Jimmy Wu from Ant-Man, uh, 2 is back, and he's like, okay, so this missing person was in the mis witness protection program, um, we can't find that, it was weird how they went missing, but their family members and anyone who's associated with them doesn't remember that he exists, and they are talking to cops, and they're like, yeah, this town doesn't exist, and they're like, where, where, where are you from, and they just say Eastview, all that good stuff. So that's when Monica kind of gets sucked into whatever's happening after she flies the drone that we've seen before into the town. She gets sucked into the universe and now it's like a big deal. Okay, you know, this big agent is gone. We need to find her. So Darcy from Thor comes back. Dr. Darcy, Dr. Darcy Lewis, she's back with a bunch of other scientists who are just kind of called um, out of like nowhere, which is, I guess, a normal thing for her because she's like very used to it by now. Um, she figures out that um, microwave radiation, the thing that's like left over from the Big Bang, is there's a lot of it and it's here and that's weird. And so she figures out that there's a TV signal from it. She tunes into WandaVision, the television show that we've been watching, and she's kind of been in her, she's already in her shoes. Um, as soon as they realize this, they get to work. They're trying to figure out who's who in the universe. Apparently, these are all real people that are from New Jersey that have been sucked into this. They're asking a lot of the same questions we were, like, why are there so many hexagons, which is literally the question I had last week, is on their whiteboard. Um, and, yeah, and they're like, they're like, okay, that's weird, like, going into different things. Darcy's the reason why um, Jimmy is on the radio in that episode two. A lot of the weird stuff happens in episode two. Um, and it turns out that when we left on the episode that we had last week, it just kind of skips over it. And Geraldine is um, and back in our world as Monica. And she's like, okay, Wanda's doing this. Because after that happened, we get a glimpse of what had happened next. 
Wanda had just had happened prior, I guess. Wanda had just kind of shot her out of Westview. She sees Vision as he was the last time we have seen him seen him. Like in reality, he's definitely just a shell, android shell person. And um, he's still kind of a little bit on edge, even when she's like, no, we have to stay here. This is our home. And um, yeah, it's it was a lot and it was very expositional and it answered no questions, but we got a glimpse that everybody else is as confused as we are. Yeah, yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, like the first, what, first six, five minutes of it, my, my like, jaw was open, like on the floor. I was like, oh my gosh, they're like going back. Like the, it's really tied into the Marvel Universe, which I love. Mm -hmm. um, like some of the other shows, um, you know, like the Netflix shows and stuff like that, they were like not really related to it. They had like hints of it, but this is like intertwined and I love it so yeah. much. Um, and the budget for the show is like a movie budget. Like that stuff did not look like TV quality stuff, you know? Yeah. So that was really, really good. Um, I, I know Evan had mentioned that he thought that that helicopter was a drone. Mm -hmm. So we were confirmed that that was right. Good job, Evan. I'm picking yeah. that up. Um, I think I was, I was so like, it, I'm, I'm in love with this show now. So I'm like, mm -hmm. after the show was over, I was like, Oh man, that was so good. And then I like sat back and I was like, that get got us yeah. nowhere like we just we have um, no information or like no like but i mean i guess every season has to have like an episode like that and especially a season like this where you need to like have some explanation of some things mm -hmm. um i think my favorite callback was whenever jimmy was walking up to um monica and he flipped his card out um yeah. just Close like um <laughs> whenever um scott taught him that trick in ant-man i thought that was a really cool callback um mm -hmm. but yeah i think it's interesting i don't know how darcy figured out that she needed an old school tv so quick i thought that was mm -hmm. a little interesting like but okay um i'll go with it um but i like the story i like how they're how they were like invested in the tv show like we are they really don't know what's going on um i thought it was a really fun episode it was really cool it, it was the most marvely episode yet and that i really love that yeah I mean, yeah, just episode, like, for starters, that opening sequence was probably just one of the greatest scenes in, like, modern television history of, like, just showing the trauma. Like, Far From Home did a good job of being like, okay, this is how we've adjusted to life after yeah. the blip, but it didn't talk about, like, hey, this is what, ha like, this was how scary it was. This is what people had to deal with, and just... The shock of being like loved ones have gone or they're with other people now or they're just dead and it's like sucks um i think it was uh, i think yeah. monica's a great character just um, yeah. outside of it, it we saw like, even though she wasn't there for most of the episode we got a good glimpse into what she's like and who she is i'm really happy darcy's yeah. back and i'm really like like her kind of like uh, on screen her on screen with jimmy um, I literally screamed like when I saw her. I was really excited because I knew she was gonna be in the show, but like she's just being Darcy and Rick really good at everything, and I love that. Um, I love like man behind like girls that are the guy with the guy in the chair, um, like Ned calls them guy in the chair. Um, the smart ones that are just like figuring stuff out, and I'm like, yeah, it's great. Um, I'm glad that they're also like, why is it hexagonal? And it looks like the entire yeah. town is a hexagon yeah. too. Yeah, that's what I which thought. Which is really weird. Weird. Um, yeah, and I, uh, but again, like, not like I'm just glad that everybody else is as confused as we are. I am glad that the few things that needed to be established were that we are like it is in actual New Jersey, like it's actually in New Jersey. It's kind of they. I remember Jeremy Johns on YouTube. He does like these, this kind of show, mm -hmm. but it's very a lot shorter. He um, does. He said he was like, "What's that other thing that the first mind to he up?" And I realized um, it's a lot like Once Upon a Time. If you've ever seen that show, where there's mm -hmm. just like a town that's, like there yeah. that's not there. Um, yeah, it's it's like that. Um, yeah. It's yeah. But I liked it a lot. It was a good episode. I'm excited to see what happens next week. I think we're going to go back to, like, WandaVision next week. Um, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, I think I think from here on out, it might jump back and forth because now we've been introduced to 
this this outside world. So I think we, we still might get some more Wanda vision, like the eighties episode and the nineties episode we still have to have, but I think it'll, we'll get some glimpses of, you know, outside of Westview. Mm-hmm. Um, it's going to be interesting to see because we got a little bit of a hint of Wanda's, you know, is she really in control of this? Because I mean, she, she definitely is, but is there something else that's like driving her to like, like, is she the villain of this situation? Like, we know kind of that she's created this pocket reality where she can be with Vision. Um, but did she really want to have kids mm-hmm. with him? Did, is that someone else's manifestation? Um, and I think another thing that I brought up last week is that whenever Monica Rambeau left the, the uh, whatever, whatever we're going to call it, the hive or whatever that is that Wanda's created, she was still in that 70s outfit. So she mm-hmm. wasn't in her original, um, you know, outfit that she went in there with. So whatever happens in there, you know, happens for for real. Yeah. So that's really, that's really powerful. And I think that if if she does, if those twins that she has do end up being mutants, um, that they're that's their way of introducing mutants into the MCU. So mm-hmm. I think that's going to be really interesting too. For sure. Yeah, I do think it's weird that like it it's in real time. I, so that's also something that's kind of confirmed. It's like when we're kind of seeing what's happening concurrently with what's going on in the show. Cause like when J- like Jimmy did it like immediately while the show was on, like going on the radio, the like be like Geraldine, like Monica leaving the thing, like still in the seventies garb. Like, so everything of like, he was like, oh, it was like just yesterday when we, um, like, she was like, ended up pregnant. Um, it was literally yesterday. <laughs> like, it wasn't like, it's not like the weekly episodes that we're getting. It's literally on a day to day basis. These people are going through these changes. Everything's in color now. There's babies here. Um, who knows? And uh, yeah, we've only got a few things just to, like, confirmed as like, this is bubble reality on planet Earth. Wanda and Vision are involved. People are, real people are in there. But, like, we still don't know, like, um, what even is, like, the, how is she doing this if this is Wanda, um, which isn't necessarily confirmed, but basically is at this point, like, um, is Vision still a lot, like, how is Vision, like, alive and stuff? Agnes's name, like, face is on the sword thing, but she doesn't have a New Jersey license, so, like, something's up with that. Mm-hmm. Um, and do they know that they're like in this reality? Cause like, we've got some cryptic hints that they're like, they're like, it's like, they're kind of trying to tell vision, like, Hey, we're, this isn't yeah. like, as it seems or like, Hey, like we're all in here, like in like this fishbowl. And that, I guess that it's like, mm-hmm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I was going to say that the acting director of sword gave me a bad vibe and I don't know if it was just because he was like, he just was introduced right away. And it just the way his character was introduced. It, it's, it just was like that guy, there's something like up with him. I feel like, and, and I don't know if I'm reading too much into it or if I'm just like searching for clues, but I don't know. I also got a bad vibe, but part of me is like, I think it's just because shield was compromised by Hydra. So now that every, any in charge figure is just instantly like untrustworthy in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> Especially and, since and, he kind of swooped in and took Monica's job. Right. Like, and like, whenever, was, yeah, whenever I was watching it at the beginning and she was like walking through sword, I was like, well, whenever she was younger, she was like really a fan of the scrolls. Like remember whenever the scrolls came into her, their house and she like wanted them to stay and she was like friendly with them. I wonder if she still has mm-hmm. any connections to them and if that is going to play any part of her character arc like later in the future i think that'd be interesting too for sure because she said stuff about how like they deal with foes but they also deal yes. with allies so that could definitely be it um i know that um she captain like you could hear like when she was like coming back like the whole captain mm-hmm. trouble thing that marvel said to her before she kind of left um, so yeah, aliens might be coming back into play, like maybe not with this show, but definitely yeah. in the future, um, with Marvel. Uh, I mean, they were there spoilers, I guess for far from home. If you haven't seen it, the scrolls are back. Like they were Nick Fury and Maria. So who knows? They might just still walk among us. 
<laughs> so what are you um what are your expectations for like the next episode or what do you want to see so they're Marvel, after this episode, I think they were all like, the, the lid is off. We know what, like, this is, like, this is how the story's going now. So I think that either we're going to go back to the full sitcom format where, like, head to toe, beginning to end, it's going to be, like, an 80s sitcom. Or we might get a chop of, like, this is what happened. This is what's happening in the show, and this is what they're trying to figure out in real life. Or, um, but I do hope it's the former because I loved, like, the subtle hints of, like, this is what this is. And then finding out, yeah, this was a drone. Which I think is weird. That looks like... I think that I get why the, the drone looks the way it is. Because, like, an, undergo an underground government agency doesn't want the drone to look like yeah. a drone. Um, but even Darcy knew what the drone was. Um, but uh, I think that next week it's definitely going to be the 80s. They're going to want to try to progress in the in reality story yeah. as well. I know okay. that um, in some of the pronouns, Agnes was like, oh, that wasn't correct. You have to take it from the top, I guess. So um, I don't know if she's slightly aware of what's really going on or what's up with that. Um, and then I think it's either gonna be the formula, like I said, there's only six um, eras, like 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and then, like, I think there's going to be one of, like, the today, but uh, who knows what's up with that, and um, there's nine episodes, mm. so we're going to at least get a couple more episodes of what's happening in real life, and maybe, I really hope that, like, the finale or the last episode is, like, an I hour know. long, because that's the one complete and I think we both have had it's way too short and I get that it's like sitcom length of TV show but um, it's way too short and I need yeah I answers. saw but, but yeah like whenever I queued it up I was like oh 35 minutes okay that's decent and I'm like oh yeah but then there's like eight minutes of credits yeah so it's really only like a, like a 28 minute episode I I get I get like why they're releasing it a week at a time you know it's it's just that we're not I don't know if we're like conditioned to just binge stuff now, um, but man, I just if this would have came out all at once, I would have lost an entire day of my life. I would have just exactly. given it. It was just, it would just be insane. But I think we can appreciate it a little bit more, being one episode at a time like this, and we can mm -hmm. gives a gives a chance to talk about this like like we are now, um, which is cool, you know. And then like it's just how episodes in TV were back whenever these things were you know like those sitcoms were airing originally so i think it's i think it's cool um even though in my heart i want them all to come out at the same time <laughs> for sure what do you think um is going to happen moving forward i guess because yeah, you asked yeah. me <laughs> yeah, i think we're gonna see like you said moving into the different eras um into the 80s and 90s we still have that halloween episode we still have that mm -hmm. one where agnes is in leg warmers and stuff like that um, mm -hmm. And in the promos in the Halloween episode, Vision goes up to Agnes's car, and mm -hmm. she's, like, scared, and he's like, why are you scared? And she's like, because – or she, he says um, – some, some, there's some, like, exchange like, where – No, why would you do that? He's like, because you are. Because you are, Whoa. yeah. So, I mean, waiting for that to happen. Um, and it's just interesting that they showed us – um, vision as like his dead self. I think that was yeah. a really important choice um, because it shows us that he's not real in that reality. That Wanda is manifesting him in the way she wants to see him. Yeah. Um, and so that was insane. First of all, that was going up for that. I guess that was. I sort of in the back. I was like, oh wow, like like the background. That's so weird that it's like he's those muted colors that we see him in. Like after all, like Thanos takes his thing out, and then it had like it, she's just like, and then you see it. And I was like, oh no, that's yeah. real. So is it like is she kind of manipulating his android body? Did she kind of rebuild him? Is she just like? seeing it though him the way that she's supposed to see him or is like it's, just trauma yeah it's very interesting and i and i hope that they delve into it because if if it is wanda controlling every aspect of this town that is insane it's like an, an insane 
show of her powers Mm -hmm. that she can individually manipulate everyone's lives to the point where vision's just doing stuff on his own. Like he's going to those meetings at the library. He's chewing gum. He's like, like she has to create all of that, like that, that consciousness in him, which is nuts. Um, Mm -hmm. which, which also like leads me to believe that there's something else at play. Um, that I hope they kind of get into, um, you know, I don't know how far or how close they'll, they'll follow the comics. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not a huge like believer that they have to follow it as, as close as they possibly can. I just want a good story at the end of the day. So whenever, you know, what I'm expecting for the next episodes, I think it's going to be a crossover between, you know, the next eras and what we see on the outside, like mm-hmm. a good mixture. And then at some point those two sides are going to, you know, meet. Um, I would assume, and you know, at the, how does Wanda come out of this? Mm-hmm. Like, is she a villain when she comes out? Does she have to pay the price for manipulating these people's lives? Is she an asset still? Does she? I don't know. It's going to be very interesting to see how they play that and what what comes out of it at the end. For sure, especially, and I definitely agree with you on the whole um, story bit because, like. Um, I mean, like, of the whole, as long as we get a good story and not necessarily going one-to-one with the comics, because, you know, we get great characters like Darcy, I don't think is in the comics, and Jimmy, too, and those are just purely MCU things. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so, uh, but for sure, I definitely agree. Uh, do you, uh, did you notice anything in the background? You're frozen right now, but I don't know if that's just me. Um, but, uh, do you, did you notice anything else in the background? Just like in this particular episode or like looking back at some episodes? Cause I think I noticed one thing. I, I didn't, the only thing I really noticed just kind of like a th- Easter egg was that card trick with Jimmy. Um, mm-hmm. just like a little tie in. I didn't really notice anything else i haven't got a chance to watch any like easter egg videos or like like a jeremy john's breakdown or something like that um but yeah i'm sure there's a ton of stuff in there we didn't get a hydra or i'm sorry we didn't get a um commercial this episode which makes sense because there wasn't anything new um but yeah what did you find it was really stupid. It was just kind of me thinking about how lobsters just kept coming up in, like, the first episode. There was giraffes in, like, the last two episodes because they're at the store buying this giant giraffe, like, stuffed animal for, like, the nursery. And then there's um, when she's kind of, like, intimidating M- Monica. There's, they have, like, these little ceramic giraffes in their living room. I don't, I know that these, these are probably just style choices, um, of like from the, the set directors, but if it so, ends up being something or like a reference to something, cause I know like, you know, she brings like Agnes brings over a pineapple and like pineapples res- represent like friendliness and hospitality and like neighborliness. And I know that it's me reading too deep into it, but like with a show like this, like right. who knows? You know, because, like, the hexagons, like, we might be, like, we were, like, uh, maybe, I was, like, maybe, like, that's just, like, a style choice. And then they were, like, why are there so many hexagons? And I was, like, why are there so many hexagons? But, um, yeah, that was it. I was just, like, why are there giraffes now? Like, it's, like, it was lobsters. I think it was, like, chickens, like, the second episode. And then it was giraffes. Yeah. Um, so that was weird. Um, maybe it's, like, an arc. Like a Noah's Ark thing. I don't know, because there's like two of every animal that I've seen. At least there's three giraffes. It's this is just me diving into my crazy thoughts. So <laughs> we'll go back to the show now. That's okay. Sometimes we have to yeah. do that with shows like this. Um, yeah, so I guess we have about five more minutes left. Do you have any like final thoughts or hopes? Dreams? Oh uh-huh. cool. <laughs> No, just just that I didn't I, I was expecting to like like this show. Mm-hmm just because it's Marvel and I like everything Marvel. Um, I didn't know the direction it was going to go, but I'm, I'm loving it more mm-hmm. than I thought that I would. Um, mm-hmm. I love how it's unique and it's not like anything we've ever seen before. Um, and mm-hmm. I, I, I think my favorite part of this last episode was definitely the first like five minutes mm-hmm. where it was like mm-hmm. the, the blip stuff. Um, I love it like direct tie-ins like that. And because 
like you said, we in Spider Man, we we kind of saw like a funny version of it with like the band just appearing, yeah. um, and stuff like that. But you you also have to deal with stuff like this. Like she was just sitting in the hospital room with her mom, you know, mm-hmm. and everything was supposed to be okay. And then when she comes back, she's gone. Like, can you even imagine that? That is, it's just it's just insane to me. And then she just jumps right into doing her job. Um, sure. I don't know. It's just, there, there's a lot of stuff that they can really, if they wanted to do it, a, a TV series called the blip and, and just make it about stories like that. Yeah. I would, I'd be all for it. Sure. There's so many things you can do. Um, but yeah, I'm just excited to see where it goes. For sure. I was surprised. Like everybody was like, this is the start of phase four. And I was so convinced, or I at least thought it like, that far from home was the beginning of phase four and um but i guess it was the end of phase three Mm -hmm. um thing but i can see why now because i think it takes place like a year after and i guess it's also helping set up phase like this is the end of this arc he's um grieved over tony um leaving he's finally it like because I guess Spider-Man, that was like the one loose end of like, what happens to this kid now? Because he's like right. the youngest Avenger. Um, he's still in high school, just trying to figure his stuff out. Like, um, where does this leave, like, Peter? So I guess that that was what the end of Phase 3 was. It's just how, like, let's end this arc, start a new one. And Wanda and everything that's going to happen here on after is going to start a new story that doesn't have to do with, like, Thanos or the Infinity Stones, or things like that. It's getting over what has happened in the past and going forward with what's happening in the future, which I guess is, like, the whole message of this show is, like, trying to figure out what to do after you lose people. And I think that we're seeing that in a lot of different ways in Monica, in Wanda, um, probably with Jimmy and Darcy, too. Um, Who knows? We will hopefully get some more exposition on those two characters as well, because they're just kind of... Haha, <laughs> we're here. Remember us? Which sucks because Darcy's a great character. And yeah. Jimmy seems great too. Yeah. Um But yeah, those are like my yeah, those are really my final thoughts. I'm really excited to see what's next. I also was very into like this show happening and excited for it, but like very confused as to what was gonna happen. And I was had my doubts at the beginning, but I'm really excited that it's at the point where I'm like, I need to talk about this with people. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, cool. Anything else? No, I think that's it Perfect. for me. Well, thank you for joining me. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want some more live stream stuff, I'm going to be back on here with Evan and Maggie tonight. We're going to do our top 10 um, movies of 2020. That'll be fun. But Nick and Evan will hopefully be both be back next week, and we'll be talking about episode five. Yeah. So that'll be great. Thank you so much, Nick. No problem. Have a good week. Bye, guys. You too. Bye.